Namaste everybody, welcome to Yoga Candy. My name's Candice and today I have a feet up class for you, which I haven't actually filmed a feet up class for quite some time and I really have had quite a few requests from you guys. So it's going to be more of an intermediate class, but all levels can join in and just do your best, especially if you have used a trainer before and you kind of know the ropes. Um, it's going to be fairly minimal cues, but there are times when I need to just put a little bit more in there for you guys. So let's begin. Starting off with our hands on the wooden part of the trainer, we're going to do a, um, a downward facing dog variation. So just enjoying a nice shoulder opener, some deep breath. And then walking our hands down to the ground into a forward fold. Interlacing your hands behind your spine, allowing them to fall up and over. Coming back, down dog, on your trainer. And jumping forwards, fold. Half lift, fold. Two more, just like that. Half lift, fold. One more. Taking plank with your hands on the trainer. Finding a rock backwards and trying to draw your Heels to the ground, stretching through the calves. And chaturanga, up dog. A downward facing dog. Jumping to a wide-legged forward fold. If your trainer's in the way, just wiggle back a little bit. Finding a twist to the right, opening up through the right shoulder. Taking it to the other side. Back to center, half lift, fold. Halfway lift, fold, one more, and fold. 
placing the hands on your trainer, step back into your plank, finding that stretch, drawing your heels to the floor, just taking a bounce back and forth. I'm taking a vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg and step it to the outside edge of the trainer, finding lizards sinking deep. And stepping back. Down the facing dog, same on the other side. Left leg comes forward, hold it, lift it against your arm just for a second. Step it on the outside edge, sink low, lizard. Step back. Downward facing dog. I'm doing that one more time. Right leg to the right elbow, hold it. Stepping into your lizard sinking low. Downward facing dog. Left knee, left elbow, hold it. Lizard, sink low. Downward facing dog. Step your feet close to the trainer and taking an inversion, making sure that your shoulders are on the part, the padded part of your trainer. You can come into a pike, just lifting up off of the legs, off the feet, look straight ahead. And from your pike, you can always come straight up into your inversion. Or you can take one leg at a time. Play around with your legs, you can open them out wide. You can take it into a wide-legged pike, maybe drawing them back up to the sky once again. Back into your legs together pike and draw your feet onto the wooden part of the trainer if that's possible or down to the ground as close to your body as you like. And then lift yourself up and back, taking a grip of the outside of the trainer onto the wooden part above the padded area of the trainer and just allow your body to hang heavy, stretching through the shoulders, sinking your head between the shoulders.
halfway lift and fold. Coming on up and jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Bending the right knee, bringing it to the right elbow. Once again, hold it, three breaths. And then step that right leg to the center of the padded part of your trainer and fold. You can bend the knee if needed. Like a variation of pyramid pose. Bend the knee, sink the hips forward as if you're in a low lunge. And then step back to your plank, finding that bounce. Chaturanga, up dog and downward facing dog. Bending the left knee, bringing it to the left arm, three breaths. Stepping that foot to the center of the trainer on the padded part and fold for a pyramid variation. Bending the knee to a low lunge variation, bend the back knee as well. And step back into plank. Find the bounce if you would like to. Taking a vinyasa. Meet me in Downward facing dog. From here, jump close to the trainer and let's take another inversion. Bringing your head to the inside shoulders on the padded part of your trainer. Just play around with your inversion. You may want to come back into a pike. Maybe wrap your legs into eagle legs and start to straighten up. Then bend your knees to your chest. Release your eagle legs back into a pike. And then change which leg is on top. Back to your eagle legs, straightening up, straightening your hips. Holding the eagle legs in a full inversion. Bending the knees to your chest, back into your pike. Maybe 
a straddle pike and then feet down to the ground in a wide-legged fold. So push yourself up and out of the trainer, placing your hands onto the outside edge of your trainer and allow your head to fall forwards. Releasing the neck and opening up through the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, taking that right shoulder, walk a bit forward, take that right shoulder blade down onto the mat and inhale your left arm up to the sky, maybe finding an interlace on the inside edge of the right thigh, taking a twist with your head resting and your arm resting on the padded part of your trainer. It's like a thread the needle. Releasing that left arm, place it on the padded part, lift up. Taking that left arm up to the sky, look up and thread it underneath the right. Coming down onto the right shoulder, onto the trainer and the head. Take a look to the sky, open up through the right arm and finding an interlace, the inside edge of the left thigh. Taking a variation of our thread the needle. Release the right arm, place it on the trainer. Inhale, half lift and fold again. Take your hands to the trainer and send your hips all the way down to the ground. You might want to move back a little bit. And we're going to take our boat pose. So we're going to lift our legs to the sky extend through the arms and then slowly come down, tap your feet to your trainer and lift. Tap and lift. Keep going. Tap and lift. Taking one more tap and lift. And then taking butterfly pose. Feet together, knees apart. You can always move your trainer forwards. You can come and rest down on the ground or sit up nice and tall. Breathe into this pose. Come on up. Taking a comfortable seat, we're just going to take some neck stretches. So extend the arms, taking the fingertips to the floor. Draw your shoulders down and try to draw your shoulders back towards each other. Already you'll feel a little bit of a stretch through the shoulders. And then drop your head slowly, slowly to the left. Finding some rolls over to the right. Continue just like this, finding some neck rolls from left to right. Mm -hmm. 
One more time. Back up to center, give your shoulders a little roll. Take your hands in front of you, outside edges of the palms together, so your thumbs are on the outside edge, and place the palms down onto the ground. Finding a little wobble from side to side, stretching through the hands. Bending the elbows very gently, just to get a, a slightly deeper stretch through the forearms, if that's possible. Become still, shoulders away from the ears. Lifting up off the hands, give them the rotation in one direction and the other. And then taking the opposite side of the hands down to the ground. So the thumbs are on the inside, palms are facing up towards you. Lean forwards and just feel through that stretch. You don't have to come too forwards, just until you feel that stretch at the top of the hands. And then breathe into it. You might want to find a little rock again if you would like to. And then slowly come up. Change the position of the legs so the opposite legs on top or in front. And we're just going to end with a little meditation, nice and short together. <clears throat> so placing the tops of the, the hands on the knees. And let's breathe naturally. And then take this moment to become aware of the body, to allow your practice to sink in, and to allow the monkey mind to become quiet, allowing those thoughts to pass, pay them no attention. being silent with the mind and listening to the noises around you. Stay here and meditate as long as you like. Or just finish your meditation with one arm with me. Taking a big inhale. hands to the sky. Allow your face to follow, drawing it to the heart center, bow your head. Namaste everybody. You can open your eyes if you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that it was lovely to get another feet up class. Short, sweet but effective. Um, and yeah, just let me know in the comments how you felt and how you got on. I really hope you guys are enjoying these classes. I'm going to leave a link to the playlist in the description. So just have a look in case you've missed out on some of my other feet up classes. Um, if you have any requests, do let me know. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely day, everybody. Namaste.